I mean, the bar business is tough enough as it is. Opening a bar coming out of the pandemic, you know, our sophomore project. And it's just, it was, it's just, man, it's so many things went wrong, but we persevered. And I feel like I'm a stronger, better person because of it. I think it really forced me to mature financing a bar. I got so much of my uh, emotions and identity tied up in that place. Yeah. It sort of just consumed my entire life in every way, shape, and form. So, I mean, do you think that's why it's a big reason of why you and Katie split? It definitely contributed to the demise, but I cannot. You can't blame it on. I that. cannot scapegoat the bar on our marriage, you know. Um, but because guess, if not that, your marriage wouldn't have survived the scandal. <sighs> like it, that wouldn't have. I, you, not then. I'm trying not to dwell on negative hypotheticals because I have a bad <laughs> habit of doing that. Wait, I do that. <laughs> I do that for a living. Because I was thinking I it. I was thinking it though. I was like, if. Schwartz and Sandy's didn't happen. Would you have stayed together? And then my step two of rationalizing was if it was rocky, yeah, it wouldn't have survived the vol. I have put some thought and I've reflected on this. If, if it wasn't for the bar, do you th would I still be with Katie? Yeah. I don't know. I will say this. And if it wasn't for, yeah, say that. Say what well, you're going to say. I think. I, I love our dynamic right now, me and Katie, because it got, it, you know, we cut, we pretty much cut each other. She cut me out of her life after, you know, the incident with you know who. Yeah. Um, and 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 it was strained, and I but I missed that. I missed our friendship, and I feel like we're in a good place. I don't see her a lot, but I still love the shit out of her, and I'm always rooting for her. And like when I drop the dogs off, we just you know we send each other memes and stuff, and it feels good to to have our rapport back a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Because I still love her so much. Um. And uh, anyways, I'm proud of her. If she wouldn't have ended it, would you have, you think, ever? It was ending. It was the right like decision. Like either but with or without you? Or do you think, would you ever have the balls? Because it is. At the end of the day, like anyone that breaks up a long-standing relationship, it's gutsy. Like I look at people and I'm like, I'm less sad for people. I'm happy for them because I know how hard it must be. And if you did that, then you must be like sure about it. Totally. And I, I, I'm, by the way, huge advocate proponent <laughs> of divorce and separation as opposed to staying in a toxic world. It was never toxic. It just kind of, oh, I don't know if I want to get into this. Katie, sorry. Um, well, I love Katie. I try not to dwell on the past right now. Uh, you know, I'm trying to look forward, but like, you know, I think, I think, um, you know, it just kind of fizzled out a little bit. Yeah. You know? But my question is where it's like, yeah. cause she did it. At yes. the end of the day, she picked up the bandaid or- With class. With class. And she was very deliberate. She sat me down respectfully and told me, like, I, I don't, this isn't working. And you didn't fight for it. Um, I just felt it was it was the right decision. Um, and also broke. you, but that that's my question. Do you think you would have been able to do it? <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. It's scary. It is. When's the, have you ever broken up with someone a lot? I don't know, but that's, I always think about it when people <laughs> break up. Like, you really need to have, first of all, you're hurting the other person. Yes. Second of all, you're, you guys were together. 13 years. So many years. I mean, we survived 10 years of reality TV. That's. I remember when it was coming out, I didn't believe the rumors. And I texted Katie like, this isn't true, right? And she was like, no, it is true. Yeah. Like, I, I almost didn't. Not that it seemed the healthiest or the best, but it's yeah. just like you see two people. They're, they know each other so well. Yeah. They've been together for so many years. Yeah. I mean, and like, here you are starting anew. Yeah. It's... um. It was a doozy coming out of that relationship, but I feel like we're both in a good place now. Good. And um, yeah, I have nothing but fond memories when I when I close my eyes and think about our relationship. But if I was watching this show as as a viewer, you would hate you. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like that guy is a douche. Wait, because you, I mean, but he's a love lovable douche. No, you are. Thank you. But how did so that is like a thing with you? Yeah. You get away with shit. I mean, <sighs> you I'm, got away with. You're kind of like, oh my God, you guys, I have it. You want to know who you're like? <laughs> oh God, I'm scared. No, man. don't be. <laughs> Scott Disick. Scott Disick? You want to know why? He's funny. Yeah. So I, it's a compliment. I like him. Scott Disick fucked up with Courtney so much. Yeah. You, did you ever watch the show? I know of so it. You know I know it. just enough to get the reference. Yeah. But like, we didn't turn on him. Yeah. However, like Tristan yeah. fucked up on Chloe. That was crazy. We turned, you know? And still to this day, it's like, oh, Scott and Courtney, Scott and Courtney. And it's like, we remember, we saw on the show him fucking up, but we were like, it's Scott, you know? And you did get the, 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 you know, 
the benefit of the doubt of it's Schwartz. He was drunk. He was blackout. He didn't know. <laughs> he went. He came back. You got that for many years. I did. Honestly, thank you. <laughs> thank you for not losing faith in me. But like, I think back sometimes. I'm just like, my God, like, not like I've not like, um, you know, I'm not on a moral high horse or anything. I still have my faults and I'm still evolving and growing. But I look back and I'm like, my God, I was so sloppy back in the day. Yeah. I mean, I would get annihilated. Whatever, yeah. drugs, alcohol, like sloppy. You don't. I get can that never like get that, that way again. I mean, I still like to go out and have a good time, and I'll get drunky once in a while. Yeah. Do you want to? Well, you're pregnant. You yeah. can't get drunk. Congratulations. Thank you for forgetting though. Sorry. <laughs> so nice. Oh. Um, yeah, but I, I, I'm trying to be healthier all around. It's just no, being... you. First of all, I said this off camera a bunch, so this is the last time you're gonna get compliments. But like, you look so good. Thank you. You're with the ensuite and green tea. I mean, <laughs> that order is like very healthy. Thank you. Like my, you're 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 in a better place. You can tell. My like body is a temple right now. Yeah. I mean, but you can tell that you're treating it better. Thank you. I yeah. feel better. Yeah. Do I look a little? Just I got a little. I got more levity. No, you. Well, you love levity. I love levity. Yeah. The hair is still like. Eh. Did you like the blonde era? I wasn't like hating it as much yeah. as everybody else. Yeah. Why did everybody hate it so much? <sighs> I was like ninety percent hate. <laughs> Ten percent love. No, it was ninety percent hate, and like so many people did it, it was, and then you got like ripped. It was a preventative measure. It was a preventative midlife crisis measure. Yeah, and um, it worked. I feel like, it but was, it wasn't for a long time. No. Well, we see it on. We'll see it on the show. Yeah. We'll see it on this season. Yeah. Um, but it was wild to me though, on this one of the last episodes that Sandoval said, and I want to know if you agree with it. Which it was a really, I mean, shocking thing to me to hear that he said to Sheena, I think, that Ariana was the least vindictive of everybody after the scandal happened. Did he say that? He said that. I don't, I've seen all the episodes. I don't remember him saying that, but he, I mean, that, he literally did say that. I mean, yeah. I mean, she, she kind of was, she was fairly tight lipped and she just yeah. refocused him in the ultimate glow up. She's like on a whole different yeah. level now. She's yeah, crushing it's a Broadway, level. dancing with the stars. Yeah. And I think she did a pretty dang good job of navigating a very twisted, yeah. bizarre situation that she had kind of had to go through in front of the whole world. Does she still hate you? I don't know if hate is a strong word, but I don't <laughs> she, think she, Okay. She in these episodes, <laughs> she to, to me, to a viewer, it looks like she hates you almost as much as she hates him. I don't take it personally, but, but yes. Yeah, but um, it hasn't gotten better. I don't think she's Team Schwartzy, but like we're cool. It doesn't feel uncomfortable when I see you her. You weren't cool on the show no. at this point. No, so you're cooler now. Yeah, she would say hello. I slowly have been trying to charm my way back into her. I know it's not. It wasn't working on the show. It's though. not working. It wasn't <laughs> landing. <laughs> it no, wasn't I give landing. her plenty of res space yeah. respectfully. But well, why does she hate you so much? I think it has because she thinks I was like an active uh, uh, conspirator. Co-conspirator, I think. Do you feel like you were one no, though? No, I just I was so consumed in my own world. Like you knew about it, but yeah. you weren't like, oh my god, like consumed by it. I just I just like figure your shit out, handle it. I just I could not be bothered. I was. Do you think that the fact that a lot of the girls think that it was your responsibility to betray your friend? Yeah. Blow up his spot basically yeah. without him doing it himself. Like, do you think mm -hmm. that assumption is um, makes sense? Yeah, I totally understand that perspective. Like you, you it just, understand. It just, yeah, I just. Like you wouldn't, I'm assuming you wouldn't do anything differently. No, I wouldn't. Really? Oh, no, no, I would, I would. I probably, <laughs> yeah, sorry, wait, no, 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 I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would be like, I would have, I would have held him more accountable. Oh, like, get, maybe I, I wouldn't give an ultimatum, but it's like, it went on, it just, not to talk about that, I know everyone's over it, but it just went on far too long. It was yeah. like, egregious.